look what we're gonna be towing today guys El Centenario and I still haven't had a chance to vlog this car I'm waiting on the owner to tell me when we're gonna get to do this hey man when you gonna let me vlog this car right now let's get it you want to do it right now it's ready or not ain't ready but you know we're ready. Man, it's never gonna be ready then we've been waiting about uh the whole summer it's almost ready almost ready yep. so you want to wait yeah we'll wait we'll wait oh uh, man so y'all gotta keep waiting now but right now we're gonna go take this to bow type performance because we're gonna go be we're gonna go pick up the box Chevy, the one that we have purchased from Box Chevy P, the blue one. I think it's all done. He got all the lights working, he got the music, and we're gonna see what else he did to it. But he said it was ready. So I hope it's ready. Unless they're just trying to kick me out of things. This car, uh, let me find out that's what it is. You gotta pay that extra. Y'all right? try to kick me out, huh? That's what it is? Damn. That thing looks good though. See, I was gonna have a nice little convertible ride on Sunday, but he's gonna miss it now. Uh, we're gonna be, we gonna be ready. You gonna be ready? Isaac gonna work his magic. And it's gonna be that quick? Well, I'll give you guys a sneak peek, I guess. We're gonna wait till uh, he let us get the whole full inside and outside. Well, y'all can see the outside right now, but y'all can see the whole inside. You still working on your trunk? Yeah? yeah. Okay. Well, vlog is coming, guys. Sooner or later. We're just going to wait on him. But at least y'all get to see a sneak peek. Looks good, though. I think the last time I showed him, it had no interior, right? Yeah. We had dropped it off at uh, the interior, interior shop. shop. Yeah. So, well, guys, let me load this thing up because we got to hit up to um, the city to go check on the box. And we made a gang right here to bow type performance. Looks like he got a G body right here. Somebody got over there pushing. <laughs> Grand Prix, this thing is clean. What year is this, bro? I think it's 84 or 85. 84 or 85. That's the big cap. Money Forge. Never seen this wheel from Amani. It looks very similar to the Forgey wheel. Full face. This Dodge is cool. This yeah. Dodge is all, uh, they always remind me like an airplane. Yeah. Like it's all the gauges. I think that's the whole point of it. You think so? I think so. Some it just gives me that, that vibe of uh, all the gauges. Like an airplane. He wants to put one of them Alley dashes in the big 13 inch. Oh, so he's gonna kind of kill the dash purpose. Yeah, yeah, he wants to. He got to. the floor shifter, bucket seats, and T-top. Nice car. Yeah, this is getting an LT4 with a eight speed. Oh, he's gonna get a swap LT4. Mm -hmm. He's trying to get that power. Yeah. So the brakes in the front, four nine inch in the back. Ooh, he got aftermarket headlights and the Tierra grill, three piece. So that's one, two, three. Triple mask, light up. Does it light up right now? Or? I don't know. I don't even know if it's a light up. Does it look like a light up? Yep. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it lights up. Lights up. Gotcha. It's the one that changed colors, too. Oh, shit. RGB? RGB. You got the LGBTQ lights? Hey, them lights are uh, cool. <laughs> yeah, it's different, right? They give me uh, semi vibes, though, because of the arrows. Right, right, right. <laughs> hey, but the car looks nice. Like, if you see it coming down, definitely That's got sweet. nice. You don't see a lot of these. Nice and clean too. I'm sure it's been repainted or this is original paint. I don't know, man. I don't know it's got a nice color scheme. I know this car came from the state. I just don't know which. I think it came from the east. But I don't know. Yeah. And this is how the pro this is how it starts, guys. I look at this and then I'm like, you know, I'm gonna go home and look for a Grand Prix just by looking at something like this because it looks clean. A clean black one, at a '79. Grand Prix? Grand Prix, but it was a it's a base. Is that is that how those uh quarters are? Like you see how they, 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 yeah, they, they stick out? out? Yeah, that's how they are? Yeah. That's crazy. That's factory. But that rim is tucked in there. There's no more room for nothing else. Yeah, I don't know if I can see from the camera angle, but it kinda goes and then it comes flares out. I wonder if that's original. I'm pretty sure they are. Yeah. Yeah, both sides have it. That's, that's crazy. That's what makes them 
real uh different different yeah. different G body the front is smooth it's like it cuts yeah down. like i can notice that see that's pretty dope because man you can add a wide wheel and it give you that aggressive look there was another gray one i seen that was doing burnouts and shit it was on the internet like a month ago oh yeah years. yeah that looked tough but they had a big nice. in the back how y'all feel about that? A, a, a Grand Prix with a white look, man. If you put even a seven-inch slip, it would look. You gotta put like a twelve, like a twenty-four by twelve. I think that would look nasty. This is before. I guess you'll come back when I put the motor in. This is the before. The before. It's only got like sixty-nine thousand miles or something. Looks like miles. it. What does it got? It's a five-zero. Five-zero. It's like a four-nine. Yeah, five-zero. Five-zero. It's gonna be in the garbage soon enough. Garbage. What's this? Uh. This is a 307 or 305? 307, I believe. 307? Yeah. Buick old Pontiac, yeah. Nice. Looks clean. Yeah, it smokes though. Oh, it smokes? Probably just needs the rings. Yeah. Yeah, right? The valve stem. The valve stem too. So nice. Right. Just well, got it last week. somebody might be looking for this motor. You never know. You never know. It's a purist. <laughs> it's going to be somewhere on the west side. In the alley somewhere soon enough. <laughs> We got, man, we still got the colors here. Waiting on the transmission. I was trying to put a 4L60, and when they installed the motor previously, they kept the motor so close to the firewall that a 4L60 just went with. Uh, so I had to take it back, and I'm getting the 700 that was previously in there. Here we go. I seen you got your car fixed. It's off the lift. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you were here when I was on the lift. Yeah. Now it's. Fixed. 5A stud. Fixed. Y'all remember he had no back wheel? We'll look at it now. Now it's ready to go. Big studs. Big boy studs. What are these, 5.8? 5.8, yeah. 5.8. Had to drill the wheel. Had to take it apart. It was pretty good. And you said you went to the track grade and everything was good? Right, yeah, everything's back where it was. Nice. It just sits here. I have to be tired of and this one I'm waiting for some parts still. So let me get it back on the lift. Oh look, I haven't seen this in a while. Did it get the interior back on or no? The interior is there. Some of the parts I'm waiting for. I had to send the seat out. Put the back seats in. I got the door panels. This thing is nasty. I'm just waiting for the shifter kit because it's got a 4 l in it. We're keeping the back seat shifter. Yeah, everybody, the man's trying to lift. The wheel is just Man, yeah, that, that is, that's that wheel, man. That gives you that wow factor. That man, when I seen like this first, lip, I think. when I seen that first, I was like, man, that's crazy. That's nuts. Yeah, that's that's nasty. Yeah, it'll be done All right, man, y'all ready to see this thing? Let's see what Isaac did. All, see if he works his magic. What do you want to see first? Uh, I guess we can start with the front. So, y'all remember the tear light didn't light up? Well, voila. Now we got light in the grill, Tierra. I wish I had this one. Mine got the RGB and I lost the remote. So you can't control the color no more. Turn the headlights. Ooh, look at that. Put the can you put the signal? I wonder if the this one got the ones that changed to yellow. No, they're uh the bumper lights are white. Oh they do. Switch back? That's dope. Y'all see this? You turn yellow. When the signal's on, that's pretty dope. That's pretty cool. Something different. The switchbacks are cool. It's a cool option. It is. Because when you got like all white, right. it kind of takes away from the old school look. Right. I kind of miss the, like, the old school yellow. Yeah. White. That's kind of how it you know it's the old though. school. It does look good though. It's a, definitely eye catcher with this LEDs top bottom. And now we got the tear lit up. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Y'all remember the opera lights? Oh, yeah. So before they used to be like uh, dots. Now the, our factory look. So he got them all white. I mean, you can kind of still see the dots, but. It's not as bright. It's not as bright. It's just literally seeing a uh, clear lens, black with dots. So. And they work now. They didn't used to work. Pretty nice. What else we got going on here? Got the, uh, the interior lights all the way. Oh yeah, let's let's 
Let's go, uh, let's go to the interior. Oh, we can do the trunk, yeah. Trunk. We'll do the trunk real quick. Trunk is simple. <laughs> so what, what all you did here? So we see a battery for the sounds. Battery, fuse. Uh, got the fuse holders there. We got the big fuse right here. Yeah. And then we got two bu two more two the big fuse blocks. Over there. And Simple we got amp board. Shout out to Jay at CCA for the amp board carpet because this is not something I do every day anymore. Oh, I thought, I thought you did it. No, I don't do it no more. You're the only guy I did music for in the last four years. I posted a video of a car I did like four years ago that Regal. Ah, uh, okay. So, you know, we got the bass amp right here, which is a sundown. What is that, a 35? It's a 5000D. Oh, yeah, it's a 5000D. So that's a big boy. Definitely yeah. drains a lot of power. Yeah. And we got this MB core for the highs, which is oh, six channel. That's crazy. We got channel one and two running the center console, three, four, kick panel, five, six, the back deck. And we got these two 12s right now, uh, which is the DB Apocalypse. So they do the job for now. I mean, I had these at the shop, so I just threw them in here. What car are those from? Uh, they were actually another Chevy. Then we got the old armrest. So you guys know that the new ones are in, which are we gonna be checking out right now. These are the old ones, y'all can see. Factory look. And we got extra wire, okay. Well, trunk's all done. We got some music now. Let's go on the passenger side, cause he's on the drive. Y'all ready? Center console. Damn, check out the center console. So I'll turn the headlights off. It's kind of too big. Oh yeah. There you go. So we got the center console lit up, which is uh, what it says, LS Broham Edition. Okay. And then we got it right here, the Heartbeat of America, Capri by Chevrolet. Yeah, that's pretty slick. That's pretty nice. What does it say on top? It says Peyton. Okay. And then Shout right here. Shout out to Peyton. Last Broham edition, and then this is where we got all the switches in yeah, the that's middle. The one that controls that. So that one turns on the center console. Got a light in the lid. That's dope. See that? That's that's neat. And we got another one right here. Got the cup holders. And then we're gonna close that door real quick. Okay, so y'all see the kick panels right there? They light up. Uh, hold on, the focus is not that good. Let me see this one. Smooth. LS Brom. I always say them twice now. I gotta say LS Brom and Broham because some people say hey, Brom. Sandwich. Some people say Brom, some people say Broham, so. But, Broham. Um, yeah, y'all see how I'm gonna do this. Here's the armrest for the passenger side. Lights up LS Broham, Brom. We've got the strip, all four of them have it. You guys see it right there, it's got the driver's side. And it's got the rear one right there. All four light up now. It didn't used to be installed or wired, so now you can see all four of them and they all get controlled by the switch right here in the dash. Which is pretty neat. Oh yeah, and then let me show you this one. I didn't even know about this one. That was a bonus. Sure, I don't hit the wall over here. But check out this one. This one's pretty nice too. The rear deck it lights up. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah, that's pretty nice. So I think, gang, looks better, right? All the lights. Pretty nice. Well, it looks like we got the interior all down. They light up, we got the music. I mean, I didn't get a custom truck finished. Like I said, I just put this in because I had it laying at the shop, so. Box probably could use a better rear pulse because yeah. I've seen better days, right? Got some screws in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will show y'all, but I'm not trying to get this copyright. But there was uh, some things he couldn't fix. 
like one of them was the sunroof, right? Yeah, the sunroof had no power. So something's going on with the sunroof. We don't know if they might uh, 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 burn it or something, but he didn't want to really uh, take it apart and then can like put the headliner back and glue it or whatever, right? Yeah, a lot of times when you do the headliners, it's, it's, it's uh, spray glue and then wrap it. So I don't, I'm not capable of doing all that, taking it apart. And I don't have a motor to replace it. And then sometimes to do the favor, it ends up being a big issue, so yeah, it's all no, good I though. Totally At least we'll, try, yeah. we'll At take least it. I tried and I found the switch. Okay, we're gonna take it to a uh, summer person and have them figure it out. And then uh, he figured out the trans leak, so we're gonna have mm -hmm. to get the parts for that. I think uh, it might be the trans pen the gasket. gasket yeah. So yeah, we're gonna go to Winter Circle and get one of those and then put it on. And then also uh, figure out the, where are they? Oh, they're in the, the car. Sensors. The Aussie sensors. I'm putting them back right here. They were the wrong plug. I believe they're downstream. There's, there's upstream, which is before the catalytic converter, and then there's downstream, which is after. These have a separate, different plug, so I believe these were downstream. So I'm gonna have to get the right ones for this. So we're gonna get the oxygen sensors, and then we have to fix one, because one's located wrong, right? Yeah, one is facing down, the other one's facing up correctly, so you just gotta move the other one back and sideways a little bit. So that's gonna be next, guys. Uh, sunroof, and then all the mechanical work, which is the trans pan gasket, and the oxy oxygen sensors, and then the last probably is be the- Alternator. Oh yeah, we're gonna add an alternator because you guys seen the big amps, they're draining a lot of power. That's a 5,000 sundown and those require a lot of juice, a lot of battery power because they just, they drain a lot of power, you know? So we're gonna get a bigger alternator and maybe get it too, make sure everything's correct. But that's yeah. gonna be once everything's on, you know? We're gonna put the alternator, the pan gas, and the oxygen sensors and then and probably- fix the exhaust leak. And he said we had an exhaust leak, which, what was it? It was just the bolt, the nut was missing, so I put a new nut and bolt, I, I tightened it back up. So, no more exhaust leak, and then we should be good. So we're gonna do all that and then get it tuned. And then maybe see Ace, but that'll be the last. Ace! Ace Mobile. See the Ace in my car, he's the truth. Yeah. Y'all would have seen the before and after of uh, his and blue Chevy. Back to where it was. Well, yeah, you I'm know. Have to get a yearly subscription to the guy every, every three months. This thing needs a wash. Okay. Yeah, bad. Dirty. But like I said, it's we're gonna have to. Uh, we're getting closer though, you know. We definitely got to get it right. Can't wait to drive it. But I want it to be good, you know. But gang, uh, we're gonna unload the 75 and get it in and load that one back up. So we have to move all these cars. So I'll check bitch back with y'all once we have this Chevy back on the trailer. Like it?
Man, that thing is clean, bro. <laughs> This Grand Prix is clean, guys. Definitely different. Okay. Alright guys, we just got back from Bowtie Performance. Oh look at that, look at that combo. Mmm, that looks good. But right now we got some potential buyers looking at the C10. So this might be the last day with the C10. Right now we just discussing the numbers and we're gonna you keep going. They're gonna go on a test drive, we're gonna see what they think. Oh, I never seen that thing leave. Look at that thing, like nice. So we're gonna see what they think after the test drive. Man, guys, look at this combo, though. Whew. Yeah, I was waiting for this moment. Oh wow! And the box is dirty. We still gotta go see Ace to make that thing wet. Guys, it looks like it needs some wet sand and buff so but we're gonna let him decide on that and they're both dirty but you can already imagine how it looks coming you know like driving i need to get some driving footage i'm gonna see who's around maybe they can help me get some driving footage on these two this is a nasty combo right here though Ooh, it's malibu And might, might as well let you guys know that after reading all the comments, you guys stay updated. Um, giveaway on the Malibu. Malibu Most Wanted is coming soon, guys. So y'all stay tuned for that. It's going to be real soon. Maybe start this weekend. So Malibu is going to be the giveaway car. So stay tuned. I'll be dropping info on it soon. We just got to take some good pictures and stuff and uh, make sure it's all good. But this is going to be the next giveaway. Malibu's most wanted. Yep. 
Now we gotta wait on these guys. And just like that, gang, the C10 is gone. So no more C10, gang. This is the last time y'all gonna see it on the channel. But good thing is it's gonna stay local. So y'all might see it around. If y'all see it, y'all can tag me. And now y'all gonna see it in the Chicago streets. So I'm not sure what their plans are. Y'all wanna be on camera or not? You don't wanna be on camera? Why not? This guy said, why not? <laughs> Shout out to Danny. Shout out to Danny. <laughs> you gotta say who's Danny, who's Danny? Danny Lagruya, LGP. Follow, follow him on, also on his Instagram. See, LF, that's your truck? Yeah. Wanna show him the truck? Let's go, See what you got going on over here. I see you got a lift kick. What size lift is this? It's a nine on the boys. Nine? The boys nine inch lift. Okay. So far I got it sitting on 26 by 14. Man, it's got 26? It's crazy how, uh, like when the truck's lifted, like yeah. they kind of loses the, uh, the size. And you gotta do you gotta do what you like if that's what you like, yeah, there's nothing yeah. wrong with it. It looks mean too. So what you put the Denali the front in? Yeah, this is a uh, grill. One thing is color matching, but I mean, so far I like it like that. That way it stands out with the road. Yeah, it will look nice though, color match. These are forces or American forces. Ooh, American Force. There's only one problem, bro. You want me to tell you? <laughs> no, no, that's not that's not a problem. The problem is that it's dirty. Why is it dirty? You supposed you supposed to have them billets shiny. Nah, this is your daily, so I understand. It's gonna get dirty, and then you can't even like uh, take this to the to the wash. You gotta like always do a hand wash, and you wash it yourself, or you'll be taking it to. I'll take it around. Take it around. Yeah. So far, I mean, we'll be hitting up also Ace right there. Ace? Dry wash, yeah. Once in a while. He's Is it, uh... He's the one that does his little wax and everything, does his magic. Nice. Hit him up for that as well. This, uh, mm -hmm. engine stock? Yeah, it's all stock. Yeah. It's on uh, June. Uh, DOD delete. Nice. Yeah, basically, they, that way it doesn't complain when it's pushing the 60s on the road. Yeah. Uh, nice truck. Too bad it's not clean. Y'all can see the full thing, but hey, y'all can still get a nice little vision, though. I mean, it don't look too dirty on camera. It looks nice. So what, what you guys just playing with the C10? Yeah, I mean, just ride it, enjoy it. Yeah? You like it the way it is, right? Yeah, right now we're gonna make it sit like that. Later on, probably do some wheels, a little bit of drop. See how it goes from there. Well, keep me updated, man. You guys are not too far. I don't mind coming by and uh, doing a vlog on it again. No, so I'm, good, so I'm good. sure this guy is want to see any process you guys, progress you guys do on it or any, you know, any build. Yeah. Let no, me know. Sure, we'll be seeing it around. I mean, we'll be popping up to show as well, so. Well, yeah, I heard the man, man. Shout out to him. Cash me out. He liked the truck. He made me an offer. I told him no. But then he kept insisting. I was like, all right, man, come on. <laughs> nah, you know. Um, you guys say you, you had one right before, so y'all were just trying to get a... That thing looks nice though, bro. Well, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one, though. Sounds good, brother. All right, man. Good. You got an Instagram or something they can no, follow you? No social yeah, media, man. Social media Damn, no social media. So y'all can't even see anything in this truck, though. So y'all see it last time on the seat 10. Y'all going to put a name or y'all going to put a name on the truck? Right there. I mean, we kept it plain Chevy. Plain Chevy. The plain Chevy? Okay. <laughs> All right, man. Look at that mini Tonka over there. All right, way to photobomb my video. Don't miss that bad boy over there though. That thing looks nice. Ooh. Adios, C10.